Hello, today I'm talking about management accounting. So, let's start from the what accounting management does. Accounting delivers the financial and economic information that an organization managing purchase is needed, whereas management is the internal use of accounting information. In this competitive business world, management has to be swift and detox in its decision making. So, there are various roles of management accounting in an organization. One is helping focus the future, helps in making or buy decision, forecasting cash flows, helping understand performance variances, and analyze the rate of return. Eventually, in a nutshell, management accounting helps to perform a series of talks to ensure that companies' financial security handling essentially all financial matters and those helping to drive the business overall management and strategy. In this section, I'll be further discussing about the evaluation of financial and non-financial measures to measure the employee performance, to talk about the definition of performance measurement is simply the process of collecting, analyzing, and reporting the information regarding the performance of individual group organization of the component. And there are various measures to measure the performance evaluation of the organization, such as the financial measures would be ROE, ROA, value analysis, and other ratio analysis. Similarly, the non-financial measures would be like uh, other various measures but in the world widely used is the balance score card which simply discusses about its four perspectives which are financial perspective customer perspective internal process and learning and growth perspective the evaluation of performance of individual and firm is very important because it shows the real strength financial strength of the organization in the market and the and the most world widely used uh, the measurement with more advantage than the disadvantage is non-financial measures because it measures the section or section of the organization in the qualitative basis and helps to improvise the section which is lacking to boost up the uh, performance and productivity. As the organization settings develop, there will be development in generation of accounting and organization reports. The accounting and organization reports development occurs as per changes in organization context and thus the theory of management and concepts are developed. A theory is developed or applied in organization context and later its results are seen in accounting division of organization which in terms affects the financial efficiency of the whole firm. From this, we can conclude that as time develops, the organization settings tends to change. This results in changes of the theories of management, control, and impacts the theory applications in terms of accounting and organization reports. Management control theories, organization settings, and accounting and organizational reports. These three aspects are interdependent to each other. Ethics plays a vital role in the context of management accounting. It sets the guidelines to practice the accounting in good ethical manner. A glance at managerial function shows how integrated its task and responsibility are with the business ethics and ethical standards. Managerial accounting focuses on supplying information used in business planning, decision making, measuring and monitoring the effective nature of internal business controls. Business owner and decision maker require full and objective data when reviewing business operations and making a critical business decision. Similarly, ethical standard ensures information is reported in full and without bias whether the information is positive or negative. Additionally, managerial accountants have access to sensitive business information. Accountant who disclose or use internal information for personal gain can destroy the trust and set the business off for serious legal implications which leads to the collapse of the company in the long term. Accounting ethics ensure that managerial accountant can be trusted with sensitive business information. So to conclude, as a learning outcome, it can be assured that ethics helps organization to provide unbiased information that leads to the successful 
this decision making ultimately leading to the long term sustainability of a business.